Voyage is doomed. <laughs> this is the first one that I saw in the theater. So for that factor, the nostalgia factor, that I, I kind of hold a special place in my heart. This was the first time that Jason was able to do a uh, media promotion thing. He was on Arsenio Hall show. I did hate how they bring Jason back to life in this one. It seemed like such a cop out. At least the uh, underwater scene is clear. You can you can see what's going on. <laughs> yes. Yes, Vince, the underwater photography is quite nice. Now, Jason is different in this one. He's just, a, like, it's Ken Otter. Don't get me wrong, but he's just slimy. He never drives. He also sounds like RoboCop when he walks. But but the funny part about this is, not only does the new mask, a hockey mask, it has the fucking axe mark that he got in part three. No. Why would this guy have? There's no rhyme or reason for I that mask. I had no idea. I did not know that. <laughs> This guy did his homework. They called this one the, the Disney Friday the 13th because it seemed just so clean. The high school musical of Friday the 13th. And again, they're trying to compete with Nightmare on Elm Street. You're right. This is very Nightmare on Elm Street. A lot, of, a lot of nightmarish imagery. Like, why does the dog see this? This is her vision. Why is the dog <laughs> reacting? I don't like any of the flashbacks with boy, boy Jason. What is he? We yeah. got to work on that routine a little bit. I... <laughs> Kelly who? Kelly you who? Once again, I'd like to know what class, what school this was. Is it a private school? No, no, this is Crystal Lake High School. C Crystal Lake High School. I didn't write the script, Vince. Let's do the chronology. So 1980, he comes alive. Part two is five years later. Part three is a day later. Part four is a day later or a week later, whatever. Yeah. It's all 1985. And at part five, you'd it have is. to say it's about maybe five years later. Then he'd be 18. You're right, five. Yeah, so okay. let's say five years later. So we're in 1990 in part five. Part six, we'd say, like, let's say another couple of years. couple of years. Two years. 92. 92. So then uh, part seven immediately took place 10 years later, but we'll give it eight. So then that was like 92. So it sh that should have been 2000. So then this one's supposed to be a couple of years, like, let's say a oh year later. <laughs> 2001. They made the movie look great. This looks like Crimson Tide. You know what I mean? Like, look at that. The lighting, the green hues. I don't like the two main leads in this one. They're just too squeaky clean. He has Jason teleport. It's just bad direction here. I, I think he was trying to make it look like... Jason's everywhere. Oh, okay, she's being strangled, which is apparently the only time in any Friday 13th that Jason actually strangles someone to death. Like, Julius goes, I'm not taking anything. But this shotgun! And this one got a wrench. Meaning, a wrench? <laughs> meaning that shotgun was there for the taken, but you're right. Someone took a wrench and a hatchet over the shotgun. <laughs> and you start questioning whether ever is going to get to Manhattan. Well, I got a question for you then. When we first saw this, were you get on with it or were you relishing it? The effects in this movie are dreadful. Yeah, how did the dog get okay, there? Okay, so the dog just pops up in the skate pod too. Or the boat, sorry. Uh, Julius is just too excited now. I think this was ADR. <laughs> We're here. We're in New York. New York City. <laughs> Jason's a hero there. So you are cheering for him at this point. There is zero indication that they've been through anything. No. There's not one scar, not one smudge. Yeah. This could have been filmed at the beginning of the movie. Oh, totally. If electricity can bring him back, electricity should not be able to kill him. Homeless people live in the sewer system in New York. You're going to flood it with toxic waste every night at midnight, according to the story? Yeah, that doesn't happen. Oh, here it comes. The unmasking, oh my god. This is worse than Dead Daddy coming back for part seven. Everything. This is de worse than Dead Daddy coming back from part seven. So you lose Paramount because you wanted to make a more mainstream friendly movie and this brought in your lowest return. <laughs> Kelly, who? <laughs> <laughs> 